Everybody, Rob Keys here, and I am playing World of Warplanes by Wargaming.net. Uh, if you saw my first video, my first impressions video, uh, the sound was a little messed up because the in-game sound of the uh, plane's engine was so loud you could barely hear me talk while flying. So, uh, let's go to settings here, make sure I turn down the engine volume. I did earlier, so hopefully it's stuck. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, music is really low. Put that up a little bit. So, I put engine down to 34%, so you shouldn't hear that too much while flying. And, uh, but I kept aircraft and effects up, so you can hopefully hear gunfire and enemy planes. So we'll just save that. Also, I want to make sure my joystick's working. Mid-flight, when I was testing sound, <laughs> the joystick pooped out, because I think I had it in the wrong USB slot, and uh, I had to switch it on the fly to mouse, and it was an awful experience. So, if we go to adjust joystick axes, yeah, it's responding pretty good. You can see in the, in the, in the bottom there. Alright, good to know. Alright. So, we're going to stick with the Demon. This is a Tier 2 plane in the uh, British Air Force. If we go to Upgrades, we can see that I bought the best thing. So, uh, I got the best engine, the Kestrel 5. I got the best machine guns. Well, the upgraded machine guns. I got some bombs. And I got the uh, gunner, the dude in the back seat. So, uh, one more thing. We got to check the controls. I don't know how to drop bombs. So, oh, there you go. B, bomb. <laughs> that makes sense. Or J button 4. So that's the bottom right of my joystick. Alright, no more time. Let's fly! Uh, by the way, there is only one type of mode. You can do training t training with friends or you play standard battle. Standard battle, you'll see, is um, it's straight up PvP. 15 versus 15. You got one plane, you die, and you're out. You can spectate, fly through all your teammates, watch what they're doing using your mouse. You can click between them and kind of, you can just kind of move the mouse around to get a 3D view of the battlefield. It's actually, it's pretty slick, but the problem is, there's not really any objectives in this game. It's like you just take down the other planes, and when you kill all 15, you're done. Uh, there are bombers in this plane, but they're kind of useless because there are ground targets, but they, the, the AI and the turrets is ridiculous. And I don't know how you get points from doing that. It's not like War Thunder where like there are dedicated bombers going after you know naval vessels or ground targets or convoys, and you get points for that. Um, and you can like land and rearm or capture bases in conquest mode and fly back up. The different maps have different modes and different... Uh, uh, it's not just a different aesthetic. There's actually different mission objectives and ways to get points. Also, in War Thunder, you have multiple planes. So you can uh, take your three starter planes, or you can have a couple of the bombers. And when you die, you can pick the, anyone you want of the remaining planes and fly back into battle. It's actually a very smart system. Uh, this game, uh, it's still kind of new. It only released out of beta in November 2013. So not much going on. Uh, that's my name. W-O-W-P underscore press underscore zero zero one zero. That's the press account that Wargaming hooked me up with. Uh, basically because it gave me tons of money and experience so I can like try everything in the game. Um, but yeah, I mean if these guys can see my name in, in air, they're probably going to take me out immediately. Okay, this is a crappy round. So you can see it's tier 2 and tier 3 planes. And my plane's only tier 2, which means I'm going to be piloting against planes that are way better. Alright. Sound, hopefully that audio isn't too loud. Uh, okay, so pressing button 5 puts me in kind of like a first person mode. No cockpit view, I guess. Alright, joystick time. Oh, I can use the, uh, the hat switch. Kind of look at different views. How do I zoom in? Oh, there you go. I'd use the mouse to do that. Good thing with playing with the joystick is that it keeps your crosshair, like your weapons crosshair, dead center. If you use the mouse to play, you have two separate crosshairs. One for the direction you want to make your plane move in, and the other one to actually fire your gun. So it's very difficult to play. You need a joystick to play this game. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Go into first person mode. Speed up. My thrust, activate my boost. I can get in this guy's way. Oh, he's turning. Whoa. Come on. Yeah. How do you like bullets? Whoa! Hang on. Top gun. Jeez, this guy's got maneuvers. Ah, 
yeah, I got you good. Whoa. Oh, come on. I got a line on my target. Shit. Oh, he's going down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Enemy destroyed, but... Oh, shit. Guy on me. I need to figure out a target, guys. Right, who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Whoa. Multiple planes. Oh, this guy's got a gun turret in the back. Oh, he got me good. Uh... Come on, come on, come on! All or nothing. Yes! Two down! Alright, gonna meet up with my friends here. Oh, these guys. Okay, the front guy is pretty hurt. Enemy destroyed? What is going on? What? Three kills! This is epic. Woohoo! Not bad for a newbie. It's a friendly. All right, what's the score here? We have, oh, we're doing good. We have like uh, ten planes versus their three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gotta stay alive. Where are these enemies at? I don't see them on the map. Oh, yeah, two left. Where are they? Oh, yeah, it's way, way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's a ground target. Alright, so it is out here in the water. Full speed ahead. The engine has overheated. Cannot activate boost. See my health in the bottom? 25 out of 110, so I'm like very fragile. Fire these guys away. Look at the mini map in the bottom right. Oh, there he is, down there. Last plane. That guy's got six bomb targets. He must have been just blowing up our boats. Oh, come on, let me get a shot on him, please. I got the most kills in our team. Three. Ah, oh, it's over. We got him. Three kills! Oh god, I'm so excited! I'm only a tier two plane. That was awesome. Award: 385 experience and over 6,000 in-game credits. So, uh, yeah, if this is your first time watching a World of Warplanes video, it's a free-to-play game. You can jump in and start leveling up. Uh, actually, everything in the game, except the premium airplanes, uh, can be purchased with, um, well, unlocked with in-game experience and, and then purchased with in-game uh, currency. So there's no pay-to-win options. Uh, having money just makes you uh, progress faster. Uh, even like the specialty bullets, if I go service, you can see, uh, you can buy like different types of ammo. You can buy armor piercing or incendiary. In this case, I bought like a combination of the two. And you can see I'm per item, I can use 400 in-game credits. I just earned 6,000 in that match, so it's very affordable. Uh, but hey, I'll stop it here. That was an epic win. Hopefully the sound worked out this time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click here to see the next video. Cheers and see you next time.